Hi everyone, my name is Miss Becca and I am going to read another story for you today. And this book is called, Do You Do a Didgeridoo? Now this is another one of those silly stories, so listen carefully because it kind of gets crazy. And this is written by Nick Page, illustrated by Sarah Baker. For those of you who don't know, a didgeridoo is a type of musical instrument from Australia. It's like a really, really long tube, really, really long, like as tall as me. And it makes this like low sound like this. Whoa. Okay. So that's what a didgeridoo is. If you have time, look up didgeridoo sounds on YouTube. And then you'll get a better idea of what this story is about. Do you do a didgeridoo? Hello, Mr. Music Man. How do you do? Do you do a didgeridoo? The one that blows a low wahoo? So, do you do a didgeridoo? No, we didgeridoo-don't. Do you do a didgeridoo, the one that blows a low wahoo? I'd paint it in purple or yellow or blue. I could paint it in every kind of hue. I'd even play one you can see right through. So, do you do a didgeridoo? There's a lot of instruments in there. No, we didgeridoo-don't. This guy is so crazy. Look at him. He's painting people. Do you do a didgeridoo, the one that blows a low wahoo? Oh, Mr. Music Man, tell me true. I want to duet with my best friend Sue, this very musical kangaroo. I brought all of my friends from down at the zoo to ask you to make my dreams come true. So, do you do a didgeridoo? No, we didgeridoo-don't. Do a didgeridoo, the one that blows a low wahoo. I could imitate bird sounds just for you. I could make it squawk like a cockatoo or imitate the pigeon's coo or the plaintive cry of a lone curlew or the sound of an owl too wit too woo or the angry grunt of an old emu as it mourns the fact that it never flew. But tell me, please, oh, tell me, do. Do you do a didgeridoo? Nope, we didgeridoo-don't. Do you do a didgeridoo, the one that blows a low wahoo? I searched from here to Timbuktu. I've been to Rome and to Peru. I've played in a band with a tiny shrew, a caribou, and a mad new. We played the blues on the old kazoo. Some called it a hullabaloo. But now I want to play something new. So, do you do a didgeridoo? No, we didgeridoo-don't. So do you do a didgeridoo, the one that blows a low wahoo? I'd serenade guests at a barbecue or play for somebody cooking a stew or Italians eating tiramisu or Indians cooking saga glue. If you play or play for barbers as they shampoo or sailors getting a new tattoo, if you don't have one, then it's a do. Goodbye, farewell, and toodaloo. So Mr. Music Man, let's review. Do you do a didgeridoo? No, we didgeridoo-don't. So, do you do a didgeridoo, the one that blows a low wahoo? I take it away with me, that's what I do. I play it while paddling in my canoe or soldering down the avenue or shivering in my small igloo or staying in the tipi teepees among the Sioux. So, Mr. M Music Man, tell me true. Do you do a didgeridoo? Oh, please tell me, tell me do. Do you do a didgeridoo? No, we didgeridoo. Hang on. Yes, yes, we do do a didgeridoo.
do. Yes, Mr. Customer, just for you. You can paint it in purple or yellow or blue. You can play a duet with the kangaroo Sue. You can serenade everyone down at the zoo. You can play it while paddling in your canoe. You can play it in Peru or in Timbuktu. You can play it instead of your old kazoo. You can play it by the side of the barbecue with the shrew, the new, and the caribou. And listen, it blows a low. Wow. So yes, we do do a didgeridoo. And what do you want? Just one or two? And shall I wrap it up for you? Actually, I've changed my mind. The end. And that is my favorite, one of my favorite silly books to read. And it's so much fun to read. And I also think that it's really, really funny. And so I hope you enjoyed it. And we miss you a lot. And can't wait to see you again. Don't forget to su subscribe to our Youth Corps channel on YouTube and like this video. Thanks. Bye.